everybody, Rich with uh, Prep U. Here, going to show you uh, another stove, stove that we have in our uh, our toolbox. Uh, we got this stove back in 06, 07, something like that. My son was uh, still in high school, and we took this camping. It was kind of a novelty at that time. I think it was pretty new at that time. It's called the BioLite. Here's the BioLite. It's a good look at it. All right, uh, it's got a charging unit, battery inside here, fire pot, um, nice stand. Actually, to, you can break it down, uh, clean it up or whatever. But inside here is a battery that is charged by the fire, okay? Uh, right here, USB port. For charging your phone, your MP3 player, uh, your uh, you know speakers, uh, whatever. Um, I think, matter of fact, let's see. What does it say? You can charge here. Let me get the paperwork out. Um, cell phones, smartphones, MP3 players, LED flashlights, headlamps, and rechargeable batteries. Uh, of course, it does say not all manufacturers' products may be supported. Well, guess to that you're going to have to find out. But the nice thing about this is the fuel you use is the fuel you'll find out in the, out in the woods. Um, just like here, you know, you're just going to have enough of it to have with, and it doesn't use or you can't use liquids, gels. Uh, or any accelerant whatsoever inside here. This is just wood, just pieces of wood, um, which is nice. So that's the, the, that's the major plus. And it, it can charge your phone, your MP3 player, your Bluetooth. Um, you don't need to carry fuel with you. The, other, the problem with it is it's very labor intensive. You need to make sure that you have all your fuel uh, with you, ready to go, or have it not too far away so if you run out you can go grab some more um, the problem with the other problem with it is you're obviously going to have whatever you're using to cook you know on the top you're gonna to have to constantly be taking that on or off so you're gonna to want to have some kind of a glove with you because uh, remember that one video I burned my hands yeah uh, so you don't want to have that happen um, this bio light is you know really i mean it's kind of an interesting concept um it's really neat they make different models they even make a camp stove which is a larger model um and they come with these really nice directions uh a although we lost the one it came with so we had to buy a double male usb and you're saying rich why a double male usb they suggest charging the battery at home and the only way to do that is male to male, USB, all right? Uh, or you could, I suppose, on your way to camping, if I knew what I did with it, charge it in the car, you know, charge it on the way there, uh, or charge it on the way back from camping uh, if you haven't charged it all the way. A um, couple things we talked about. Um, in other videos, which are fire starter video, something nice to have with you is really dry wood. Remember, we talked about buying boxes of dry wood. Um, got it from Menards, $4.99, big box. Remember, if you remember that video, if not, go back and take a look at it, fire starters. And we broke it down to these, which is really lightweight, packs real well. You can do several of these. That way, at least you have dry uh, firewood. Uh, we went camping in the Western Boundary Waters, uh, basically uh, ki uh, kayaking, and it rained the entire time. Uh, we had dry wood with us, so we were able to at least get the fire started and then dry out wood by placing it around the fire. And uh, we were able to cook, uh, actually via fire, because there was no fire hazard, so we could cook, which is a, a rarity on some of the Boy Scout uh, campouts we've had been on. So. This is basically the stove. We talked about it. It's got a fan inside here to keep the fire going. There's a firebox. I've already put a little bit of paper in here. 
um, then all you're going to do is just drop your firewood in there. All right, and I suppose we could use a couple more here. Just drop it in there, and then you need to get the paper at the bottom lit, which is that's another one of the problems with this. You would, it would be kind of neat if there was um, a way at the bottom of it to light from the bottom. But there isn't. And so you just kind of deal with it. You know. Just get the fire going. You know, let it burn. And we can turn the fan on, and the fan, because it's pre-charged, the fan is going to blow, and it's really going to get, that's what's going to get the fire going. And it's actually burning pretty good down there already. But it'll get the wood going, and this is, once it gets up and running, You'll get a really uh, good solid flame inside there, and it'll really be nice and warm, hot to um, boil your water um, and cook your cook your food. Yeah, I mean it's doing pretty good down there right now. Good smoke, good fire, and. Like I said, this is labor and intensive. It's pretty, you know, you're gonna wanna be right here the whole time uh, adding uh, fire to, uh, or fuel to the fire, I should say. You know, and yeah, it's not bad. You know, so anyhow, we'll talk about the buyout while that's getting going. We'll talk about this just a little bit. Um, like I said, they, they suggest that you start it at home uh, by plugging it in, uh, keeping it going, so, or, or until you get a green light on the indicator there. Um, that way it's, it's ready to go and you can basically charge right off the bat. I mean, you don't even really need a fire. Um, you've got the charge charging going. This is just, you know, you just let the fire burn a little bit. What else should they suggest? Um, um, you place pot directly onto stove stand, which is right up on top of here. As you can tell, it's hot. Get a nice flame going on in there. Um, but we have found it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting. Um, when you bring a stove like this out, people come over and go, what, what do you have? You know what's going on um, and you say oh it's a bio light uh, we're actually producing our own electricity uh, inside here and it's uh, very cool and there's a really nice flame going in there right now um, you know, so it's there goes the fire something to, to not throw away if you get uh, Japanese food or mostly Chinese food you get really you can get chopsticks you know what's great about these things they're super dry and you can, you can use them as fuel which is really kind of nice to get your fire going um, but just you know you can keep the fan going plus you got this you can save this for fire starter or use it for a fire starter which is just the wrapper put that in your fire starter kit you know if you want to keep it but um, you should be able to see we've got a really nice flame going there now so this is where it becomes a little bit labor intensive you have your chopsticks you have your fire but now you can take your pot and don't choose your pots wisely something that you don't, don't mind getting burned but you just put your put
put it right on top of there. And we'll just, you know, you kind of watch the flame and uh, keep aware of what's going on. But let me talk to you about a couple other videos we did uh, while why this is going on. Remember, we just did a video about how to start prepping uh, on the cheap. And one of my suggestions was definitely look around your house, look around your parents' house, your grandparents' house. Well, the other day I was cleaning up part of the garage and went to a cabinet and opened up a drawer and lo and behold, I didn't even know I had this. This is a Duraflame fire starter. Obviously you're not gonna use it for something like this. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, but I found it, so I threw it in our fire starter kit. In the fire starter kit, I've got, there's actually have two ammo cases. Another good use for an ammo case, that's why you should get these. Um, you can either have that in your car, uh, and then you can pick and choose what you're going to use, or if you're going uh, hiking, you can pick or choose before you even leave and uh, put stuff in your um, hike, hiking bag, backpack, or whatever. But you can see the flame we've got going. Just keep adding fuel. You know, and like I said, the reason I say you're going to want to pick your pots wisely, you can see how it's getting black um, from that. There's already steam coming off the top. Um, so let's try charging something. So we can take the USB. Actually, we're going to charge the uh, Bluetooth. So here's the Bluetooth. It, comes with, it, it came with its own cable, obviously. Um, we're just going to plug it in here. And we look at the top here, and yeah, it's charging right there. She's charging, which is really cool. Um, actually, I needed to charge this. I only got two lights out of four. So this is going really good. And believe it or not, it didn't take all that long. Obviously, this is a very small cup um, here, but you can see, you see the steam come off of it? It's already boiling. All right, so if it's just you, time to eat, baby, right? So, um, kind of a neat concept. Uh, I know they still make them. They make several varieties. This is a smaller one. You can throw in your backpack and go. Um, but you can see how the fires burn down. So you just gotta get in here. And set that down. And then just, like I said, it's labor intensive. Get your fuel in there. And she'll start back up again. Got to get it down in there. And basically, the fan will keep going, get this stuff ignited again. So it's a cool little novelty stove that works, you know, and you're not, you know, you're not carrying gas, you're not carrying uh, propane, you're just using the wood that you find um, as you go along. Now, obviously one of the biggest problems with this is I don't, wouldn't consider this a campfire by any means. So it shouldn't affect how you, uh, a campfire van shouldn't at all. Uh, you can see how it's getting going again. I let it die down specifically so you can see that with the embers in the bottom, you can bring it right back up again. Um, there's a higher, you can hear it now, can you see me? I feel like I'm in a 1970s rock video, yeah, uh, somebody would need long hair and uh, shooting fireworks going off behind me, but anyhow, it's got a really nice fire going on in there, so you're going to add a little bit more fuel. It's actually kind of fun. You can see how the fuel is coming up. Almost did it again, didn't I? Yeah. 
I mean, you caught that. So basically, I mean, you can put, put more water in here, put more back on top, put a bigger pot. Like I said, it is labor intensive, uh, but you don't have to carry fuel with you. It's running great. You got a green light going beautiful. The MP3, I mean, uh, Bluetooth is up to three out of four. So that's it. That is the, uh, that's the BioLite stove. It's kind of neat to have. I think uh, my son purchased this at REI. Uh, like I said, quite a few years ago, uh, 15 years ago, and it's still running great, and uh, still doing what it's supposed to do, and that's it. That's this video. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, we showed you a couple of things. We talked about our fire starter video. We talked about our how to prep video, finding stuff around your house, your grandparents' house, or whatever. Uh, we also uh, talked about stoves. Uh, we talked about what you need to make sure that you have, especially have some kind of gloves. You should have gloves anyhow whenever you're uh, going hiking, camping, or whatever to protect your hands, no matter what you have to do. Um, but I'm just going to let this thing burn down, and I don't think that my little clicker that's going to stop this video is working, so I may have to get up and click it off. Um, see, and just turn the fan down a little bit, let it burn. Uh, we've got... Uh, Definitely another boil here going. And you can see that it's time to add more uh, fuel to the fire. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm gonna let it burn down. I don't need it anymore. Uh, we can turn the fan off. Turn the fan off and uh, we're all good to go. Unplug it. Obviously this is when you're gonna let it cool down and repack it, uh, hike to your next location. And Actually, the heat from it has turned the fan back on and is recharging the unit. We've got a great, great green light on here. I don't know, well, you probably can't see it, it's right here. The green light's growing, glowing great. So that's it for this video. Hey, uh, subscribers, thank you for subscribing. We'll have more uh, stove videos coming, more other kind of videos for y'all. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please do. Send this off to your hiking and camping buddies too, to, uh, have them subscribe. So that's it. Like we always end our videos, always be aware of your surroundings, always have enough food, whether you shelter in place or bug out, and please prep like your life depends on it because it really does. And let's see if the clicker works.